cost nearly $10 million to fix and replace the Jacksonville Beach Pier. Now, this video from the Action News Jack Sky Vision drone shows the damage from recent hurricanes. You can see some boards are missing as well. Action News Jack's investigator Brittany Verner is live at the pier. And Brittany, we found prior issues with the company test to rebuild that pier. Yes, especially those people who come out here to go fishing all the time. Many of them are here right now, but just to my left, you can see this is the portion of the pier that was severely damaged because of the last major storms. City leaders predict it will take about two years to fix. The pier at Jacksonville Beach has been standing in this spot for more than 100 years. Nobody moved. <laughs> Because it's a long pole. And Nobody for fisherman moves. Michael Covington, for the last decade, he's made this place part of his home. I've been coming here about 10 years, and it used to be full. Covington says he moved to Jack's Beach specifically to go fishing every day, and he remembers what it looked like before it was damaged by the last two major storms. Before, when I used to be out here, it used to be full of fishermen. The first wave of damage happened during Hurricane Matthew in 2016, followed by a second big hit during Irma in 2017. It's heartbreaking to come out here sometimes. Sometimes. This week, the city awarded $9.8 million to Hall Jones Contractor LLC to repair the nearly quarter mile long pier. In February, Action News Jacks reported new plans for the pier included raising the end of the pier an additional eight feet. We pulled the contractor's history and found the company was fined more than $7,000 after an employee died after falling during bridge construction. The company is also facing a lawsuit for an employee crash. Construction on the Jacksonville Beach Pier is set to begin in November and last two years. I do believe that if they added a restaurant, not just a restaurant, but a bait shop slash restaurant, that it would bring a lot of tourists here. We reached out to the contractor and city officials in Jacksonville. They did not want to comment on the new contract, but people here are hoping the repairs get finished before that predicted timeline in November of 2021. Reporting live in Jacksonville Beach, Brittany Werner, CBS 47, Action News Jack.